Hey guys, it's Piper and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another tutorial video about how to do a Valdez. A Valdez is a gymnastic skill where the gymnast has to kick over from sitting in a position like this. This leg is out in front of you. This leg is out in front of you. Bent. They're both parallel except this one's bent. Your, sorry, your right arm is going to be in front of you, parallel with your right leg, while your left leg is on the floor. And then you have to kick over. So I'm going to demonstrate the skill of the Valdez. skill that is required for doing a Valdez is a bridge kickover. So if you don't have that skill, make sure to practice it or look for tutorials on the internet about how to do it before trying to learn a Valdez. And before you learn a Valdez or a new skill in general, it's always important to stretch. A stretch that may be helpful before doing a Valdez is a bridge. This is how you do the bridge. The bridge stretches out your back. And that's really important. And also that's in the Valdez is kicking over. So that's important to do. Because it could be really bad if you hurt yourself. So you always have to stretch. If you want to do more stretches just to be safe, that's okay. But I think that's the only stretch that I personally need. So the first step that we are going to be doing is simply is simply getting up into a bridge. You go to the ground and just push yourself up. Because that's an important skill that you're going to be needing in the Valdez. Next is being able to go like this into the bridge. You're on your, your bottom, both legs are bent and apart. You put your hand like this and then you go around into the bridge. That's an important skill when doing the Valdez. And then the next step is putting, is doing the Valdez position and going up into a bridge. And remember, guys, you can always pause the video and continue to practice these steps. I just need to rush through it because I don't want an hour video. From my dad, well, one who works at a company himself and makes videos himself knows that nobody likes a long video. So that's a little tip for some people who have their own vlogs. So the next skill is going into the ball desperate position and pushing up into a bridge. Don't laugh if I fall because I'm not that good at this step. Then the next step is going into a bridge and simply kicking over from there. You go into a bridge with your leg up and kick over without putting the leg back down on the ground. And then that's the steps broken down to do a Valdez. Now we're going to discuss some tips that could help you with the Valdez. Tip one is that when you go back into the Valdez, you don't want to keep your hand. You want to, this hand, it's not in its spot look. You still have to move it over when you're going back to it or else you're going to fall. This arm, it can't stabilize you forever. I mean, like, you can't, like, see, you can't kick over when your arm is right there. It won't stabilize you. You have to bring the other arm back fast. And then something else that could help you is when you're going into a Valdez, you want to try and do it really quickly because if I'm doing a slow Valdez, I'm going to demonstrate what happens. Do not try this at home. You fall down on that hand because it can't stabilize itself. So those are some important tips for the Valdez. I really hope you enjoyed this video and my tips 
and, and drills have helped you get your ball des. But remember, you have to keep practicing. And if you don't think that you're ready to do the skill on your, by yourself, then you have to do the drills over and over again until you think you're comfortable and you think you're ready. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!